What's going on, folks? Today, what we're doing, we're talking about secrets, saturations, saturations, <laughs> saturators, um, and uh, some of the secrets can be, uh, there is no kind of like catch-all, gotcha, bitch. Um, there's no catch-all, but uh, one of the things you can do um, is multi-band saturation, uh, like meaning that you just focus on a specific band to saturate instead of saturating the whole sound. And you can get some really interesting effects, and how you do that uh, usually is you buy a plugin called FabFilter Saturn, and it's a multi-band uh, saturator. Uh, it's a great plugin, great company. Um, it's not sponsored, and we don't have it, so there you go. There you go. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so what we do is use some stock Ableton stuff, and you can use anything that really has hard cuts that you can just like dice frequencies and then like have them just isolated in terms of signal. And that's what we do, and we do also some effects and some cool stuff uh, with uh, the multi band uh, frequency splitter, really. Um, but yeah, uh, again, uh, Instagram, uh, Twitch, Twitter, SoundCloud, Facebook is there. I haven't done anything, but it is there. It's no longer the little the little weird weird child but um yeah and like and subscribe and enjoy enjoy the video thanks for watching bye uh, first thing we're gonna need is uh, we're gonna need audio right so let's just go to clips search for a break oh that's a, that's a lot oh samples on in that clip oh okay cool add that in play that uh, the next thing we're just gonna do this because it's uh, good practice uh, just to have it on a bus. Uh, see the chain, all that's off. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you know why not? Why not? Because the idea is if you want to do multiple things instead of just doing it to one thing. So we'll route that out to the bus. Bus in. Cool. And now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this. Uh, it's like a band splitter. So um, the idea is we're gonna take up, uh, sorry, take the audio and split it into four bands in this case. You can tweak more and try different variations um, as you want uh, with these things. Uh, but yeah, so let's just do that. We're gonna we're gonna split it up, and then with that multi band, what we're gonna do uh, first is we're gonna apply saturation just to just to a little narrow band, and and we can show you the difference. We'll, we'll hear it. We'll hear it. It'll be cool. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are going to not have that search term. We're gonna do an audio effects uh, rack. And the thing that is gonna uh, let us do this is under multiband dynamics, if we use the multiband compressor, uh, don't don't get worried about the compressor part. We're not even gonna use it for the compressor. We're gonna turn the compressor off, right? And let's uh, open this up. And uh, what we're gonna do is let's first set these all to zero, right? And then we're gonna turn off all the compression. And so it's just passing through the audio right now. Right. Perfect. That's what we want. Um, and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna duplicate. Oh, uh, we're gonna duplicate this chain uh, four times. And we're gonna turn them off because it's gonna get louder because there's just gonna be four four things all at once. So, but first we're gonna call this uh, highs. We call this uh, mid highs. And again, you can break these things how uh, up however you want. Uh, I just think this is a, a nice convention. Um, this kind of instead of having just uh, mid, uh, sorry, low, mid, and highs, having like mid, low, and mid, high, just to break up that mid frequency a little bit more. Um, cool. So what we're going to do now is on the first one, we're going to turn off the low. We're going to solo the high track. All right. Let's just actually make this decently high since we're going to have a mid high. So this is basically going to go like 3,000 and up. Is this right here? And it's only going to be this frequency. I think you can see where this is going. And so on the next one, the numbers do uh, do kind of matter. Let's do a softening. Actually, it doesn't even matter. There's no compressor on. We don't we don't give a shit. Um, so 3,000. So on the mid high, what we're going to do is we're going to have the cap at 3,000. Uh, what was it 3,000 something? 3,008. This is always so exciting to watch. 3,006. You know. Uh, that's fine. And then the lows, let's bring up uh, to like what? Like, let's do like one, like 175 or something, something close to there. Come on. There we go. Okay. And on this one, what we're going to do is we're just going to solo the uh, the mids because it's in between those frequencies to be specified. So it's going to go from 3000 to 1.81, which I, I don't know why I guess it's 1.75. There we go. And that's that frequency. Now from this one, we're going to go from 
1.75. Let's see, 1.7. Just get it close. Just get it close. It's fine. That's fine. And then we're gonna go down to like let's do like let's do like 500, right? And we're gonna solo this one. So that's that's a lower. And you're not hearing any changes because uh, I haven't unsoloed the tracks, right? So if we just do this, right? Oh, and on the high ones, we're gonna turn off. We turned off the low, okay? Mid, uh, we got that. We got our range. We got our range. And now the low, we're gonna solo. And we're gonna turn off the highs. So it's just that. Okay, it sounds like something is off right now. Solo, solo. So these numbers, you gotta get, you gotta get them kind of right, because if not, you're just gonna be leaving out frequencies, right? So what was the mid low that that went to 515? Yeah, so we're missing like a lot. 515. So then this goes to 515 to one point. What is that? 1.77. So we want our low to be as close to that as we can. So hold down option. Of course, this one is 1.75. Anyways, we'll leave that out right now. And 3,000 and the upper 3,000, right? And we do this. Sounds a bit different. Let's make sure these things are all in the correct. And again, you kind of have to uh, tweak sometimes like the ranges of these things for it to, to sound correct, right? Depending on the song. Uh, so it's not like a catch-all. Um, it should be. It should be. But it's not. This sounds pretty good. Okay, we're going to roll with this. You can always tweak it and make it better, but I think that sounds like a pretty close to the original. I, I, you know what? No, 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 no more. But at this point, at this point right here, you should save this. You know, and and it's good. You're gonna have to tweak it for like uh, different songs and stuff like that. But it's always good. You already have it set up. You don't need to do it again, right? So just save it and call it. You know, uh, what do we want to call this? Um, uh, frequency splitter. Let's just call this uh, frequency splitter. Cool. Save that, and now we have that. And we know the next time if we want to do this, boom, head right to our library. Okay, but it's at this point, so, you know, yeah, let's make sure things are still good. I'm still just, yes, okay, so that sounds fine. So the idea here is you can normally just use a saturator, right? Saturation, or saturator. Saturator. Uh, audio effects. Right? So normally if you saturate, you just do this, right? Put a little up. 12 but you know from my rule of thumb you always take down whatever you kind of put up a little bit till it just sounds nice right but sometimes what you're looking to do is you're just looking or maybe 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 you don't know what you're looking to do but um what you can do with this is you can saturate um certain bands so say if you only want that uh no backup in 15 days i, I do backups i do backups um, but yeah, if you want that saturator on like the low end or the mid low, say like the, you know, that band that sits above like bass, like kind of where the snare is, but you don't want it to affect the hi-hats, what are you going to do then? And then I say you use this frequency splitter um, by using the multi-band compression um, uh, tool in, uh, in Ableton. So now what we do is let's just do this. Okay, actually, this, we're going to copy this so we can do like a little little A-B test, a little A-B test. So let's just apply it to the, the mid-lows here. So just come over here. All right. And where did we put that other one? Uh, Mid-highs. Right here. So now we have this just on the, on the mid-lows right here. You can still hear the hi-hats.
Yeah. Versus having it here now on the whole thing. I mean, and it doesn't sound bad. I actually like it both ways. But if you're just looking to do just just a band, right? And that's what the Isotope Saturn plugin uh, does. It is, uh, it's a multi-band uh, saturator. So it just break up, break up the bands. And then you can just saturate those uh, those that particular frequency. It does more than that. It's cool. I definitely uh, suggest checking it out because it is sweet. Um, but yeah, so you can do this. So let's just uh, try something else. Let's let's take this off that. Let's do the highs. Let's you might not hear a lot, but yeah, you can definitely hear those hi hats coming through. Right without it. Catching a little bit of the frequency of the um, of the snare, but again, you know, take that away. Let's put it on. Let's put it on the lows, right? Let's just do it right here. Yeah. Oh, you can definitely hear that kick. That's a big kick, right? But see, it's only affecting the kick, right? And that's pretty cool. But another nifty thing, instead of just saturation, like you can put effects on things, right? So say at the very high of this, like I just want the hi-hats, just the hi-hats alone to have just, you know, a little bit of echo, a little bit of echo. Let's do, I don't even, oh, that's wrong. That one. Let's just add it to that one. Go to that chain, right? And it's just on the high frequency. Versus on the whole thing, right? And that sounds whack. That just sounds whack, right? And like, and this is just a break. And like, now, I mean, like to me, this sounds already like just a little bit more interesting. You know, you can definitely like if you want to like turn down that that effect. So it's a little bit more subtle, right? You can go down, go into the saturator. Let's. Uh, I mean, we just did some stock stuff. So I mean, you can play all of these different things. The drive. Curve depth, you know, this is just some like stock default stuff. Um, soft clip to, to simulate, you know, analog. Right. And we got that, we got that. Okay, let's do this. Let's do that. Okay, last thing. Let's do this. Okay, just for fun. Just for fun. Uh, let's do an auto pan on the uh, on the mid highs, right? A real like kind of slow but slow but deep one. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out a better way to say that. Yeah, and now you're getting some movement in that range, right? And let's go to our metering. Always have metering. Let's go to our um, our stuffs, all our things to see what's going on. All right. Uh, that seems loud. I don't believe that. Um, you know, and the metering again. I use this. I'll link it. I'll link this because free stuff is always great. Uh, you uh, you lean loudest meter. It's nice. I use it for the integrated luffs. Um, you can have a you can buy it, buy it. Uh, it comes with other stuff, presets and stuff that I don't know anything about because I haven't bought it. Um, this imager is free, uh, Ozone Imager. Um, I'll link to their website. It's great. You can do, uh, you can see basically your stereo field, and there's some there's some other stuff you can do, um, but it's nice just to visualize the uh, what's happening stereo wise because I just put that panner on. Uh, Fab filter. I can't speak more highly of Fab filter. I love that filter. But this one is actually just to kind of see problematic. So, you know, do this and then you can see the frequencies that are sticking out the most. I don't do anything here. This is just at the end of the chain to see what's happening. I fix it on the other end. But the whole point of this was to see the stereo field of the, um, of the multi-band uh, frequency splitter uh, stuff. That's just the sample. We go to the bus. So I didn't click on it right. Isn't dumb. Okay, yeah, no, so now we have like, yeah, the auto pan, right? Let's just listen to that a little bit. You got like, there's a lot of stuff moving in here, and it sounds cool. You got the uh, you got the echo on the upper frequencies, saturation on the kick, you got on the mid highs some some panning, and this is just one beat, and it's a sample, right? So I mean to get this kind of movement out of a sample, uh, it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, this is what I want to show you today. Um, Again, I don't have downloads, uh, but if you're interested and you'd like to see me put up these things that I make, uh, leave a comment. Let me know. That's the only way I know. If not, I don't think anybody wants this stuff, <laughs> which is okay. It's fine. It's fine. 
But um, yeah, just um, uh, like, subscribe, do all that stuff, do the notifications. Um, that way you know uh, if I put out a new video. Seems like I'm putting out a lot of videos these days. I uh, got a lot of time. Got a lot of time right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, thank you for watching. And as always, uh, be well out there.